Also, further to the situation that we now find ourselves in with obviously Rod, we don't think he's ever going to be able to do the feeds again. Um, we've come up with another solution, which are these. Now, if I can do this video, what we've got here is, um, whoops, <laughs> the horse's heads are knocking me. What we've got here is this metal grid. Now, what happens is, oops, when you put these on top of the forage, it does several things. It stops the forage blowing about in the wind. It makes the horses trickle feed, which is what they should do. But furthermore, we could actually fill each of these containers up and then put the metal grid on, which means we would only actually have to do it every 24 hours as opposed to twice a day. So obviously that also is gonna cut down the intensive labor that we have at the moment. Now to do this, they we've got 60 boxes, which is gonna be uh, 20 euros a grid. We're looking at 1,200 euros. So this is what we're gonna have to pay to get these grids made up for the 60 boxes that we have. So this is now all part of the plan so we can continue doing what we do. Feed our 122 horses, ponies and donkeys. If anybody would like to make a donation towards the cost of these grids, we would really be very, very appreciative of it um, because obviously Rod does need help. He cannot continue any more as he has been and obviously this will lessen the burden for all the volunteers also that are obviously trying to help um, as much as they can in this situation and obviously at the moment in all this mud obviously it is very very hard uh, for all of us to do what we need to do on a daily basis.